So let us come back and solve this numerical. So in colligative properties, as I said, every time you will be asked the molar mass of the solute only. So one important thing here, I have listed out two formulas. What are these? Now you can you can ready you directly note this in your book because this particular formula that is for finding out the molecular mass of the solute you can use this when you have the concentration of the solute more means the amount of uh, solute is more in that here you can use this formula when the uh, solute concentration is very less that is in dilute solution that means the first formula you can use it for concentrated solution and for the second one second formula you can use it for dilute solutions that means what is the difference between these two in dilute solutions solute concentration is less here in concentrated solution solute concentration is more I've just framed it you can directly use this that so mostly you will be given this formula or this particular thing only you can use this directly done let us see the first one first of all what let us write what what data is given to us what do they give me the vapor pressure of water at a certain temperature is this okay I very well said always pick up for solvent as w1 and solute as w2 now for the solvent what do they give me the vapor pressure of water so p naught s given to me is 118.15 torr that and that of a solution is solution is how much 18.06 torr then uh, containing 9.47 grams of, a sh of sugar so w1 is 9.47 grams m2 i have to find out come back w1 is 100 grams molecular weight of the solvent is water is 18 grams that's it all the data is with me substitute directly in this formula so what do i get here if i substitute the first one so what is uh, your uh, w2 it is 9.47 into your m1 how much is m1 given to us uh, m1 given to us is 18 grams divided by what is w1 100 grams into i'm directly apply this formula you'll directly get the answer so ps is 18.06 tor divided by p naught s 18.15 tor minus 18.06 tor when i solve it i get an answer of 344 because it is mb i am going to write molecular weight gram per mole done let's substitute in the second one mb is equal to what should i take your w2 given to me <coughs> yes yes w2 given to me is again 9.47 both are same isn't it copy the same into 18 divided by 100 into here it is p naught s so 18.15 divided by this is p naught s again 18.15 minus your ps is for uh, the particular uh, solution that is 18.06 so when i solve this i get an answer of 342 3.8 gram per mole so this is how you're going to do why did i do this numerical basically i wanted you to show this is a formula which you can directly use don't get confused mb is equal to remember this formula write the data substitute in the sum and you'll get the answer but units are important molecular weight is gram per mole isn't it so this is your answer try to memorize this formula very very important